All right, guys, we're back out with Cerebral Firearms 11.5 build that he recently finished, and he's got my MG7K from Rex Salentium on here. Let's uh, see what we can do here. I'm still getting used to shooting right-handed with rifles. It's taking me a little bit of adjustment, so bear with me if I look kind of awkward with it. Let's see what we got here. We charged up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna charge Didn't lock back on that one, but not too bad. What do you guys think? I did get a little bit of gas at the back end there after it got hot, but not too bad. Will you guys uh, cop or drop Cerebral Firearms build? Put in the comments and then go to his channel and spam the shit out of his comment section and let him know Black Rifle Medic sent you. Peace out. All right, we, we have the Polonium K with the 243. So six millimeter coming out of this bitch. You guys ready? God, that sounds good. Um. One more. Break the ear real quick. See if it sounds. Go ahead, break the ear. Sounds like it. Man, that's not bad at all. No, nah, that's a great sound from the Polonium K. That's, I think that's probably hearing fit. I mean, I wouldn't shoot it all day, but. That's phenomenal. I don't think we're going to have much of a problem with that. Oh, uh, Otter Creek, you guys I mean, it's on a bolt gun, so it's a closed system, so. Yeah. But it's definitely not obnoxious. All right, guys, 243 Winchester out of a Spec War 762 versus the Polonium K. You guys are about to be super surprised. That is more. That's way louder than the Polonium K. One more shot, 762 Spec War. I mean, that's way, way louder yeah. than the Didn't Polonium know. K. How can a K can beat a full size? All right, guys, this was a pretty successful range day. We were able to test out the Polonium K against the Spec War from Silence of Coast 762 and the Polonium K for all intents and purposes smoked the Silence of Coast Spec War. So I never thought that would happen. I thought this uh, larger can would definitely be successful. Got to shoot my new. Uh, Brown L slide on my Glock 17. Turned out really nice as far as I'm concerned. Now I just need to find some sights for it. And um, but with the with the Gideon red dot on it, that's fine. Uh, we also shot uh, Cerebral Firearms 11.5 with the MG7K on it. And other than the mount, in my opinion, the mount needs to be a little bit higher for the uh, dot. But the thing's pretty nice, man. If you walk down the trail, you may uh, you may come up finding it missing. So. We'll see what happens. Let's see what he thinks. Uh, he's going to give you his take on the range day, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, I know this is going to be a reoccurring theme, but the Polonium K 
blows me away. I'm absolutely astounded to the performance of such a small can and how well it suppresses a lot of ammo, not just 5.56. Five, Phenomenal can. My AR, of course, is the best AR that has ever <laughs> been built, period, hands down. There's no other one that's better. Except for that shitty one. Yes, I mean, Spike Stack is a little bit better, but um, Strike Industries, you know, stuff like that. Anderson? The, Anderson. The Anderson's great. Anderson's um, rocking, man. Yes, yes. Call me Neo, baby. Um, But with that being said, the 17 that he has, Brownells is really killing it with the slides. I'd like to compare the PSA dagger to a, like a Brownells build or something like that. It'd be pretty cool to see. All of his stuff is great. You should like and subscribe. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.